Hi everyone, so we're doing a market shopping vlog with my mom and she's going to share with you guys all the tricks of the trade. We're in Christiana Market right now. We're going to tell you guys some tips on what to do, what to experience, blah, blah, blah. So what's the first tip that you have for people when it comes to shopping here? Like, hey, um, some money, how to carry local. your bag? Local is always best and it's more healthier. And sometimes I have specific people that I go to. But shop around and make sure you get your money's worth because people will sell you anything. They don't care just as long as they get the money. So shop around and make sure you get your money's worth and good quality stuff. But local is best. Supermarket don't buy those things. They're mostly imported. And I don't buy meat from the supermarket because it's mostly women, female animals they um they kill and the family doesn't like female. I was brought up like that in a way. Uh -huh. So we're gonna also go to the meat market to get meat too. So come along and see. Of the market. We're going to the meat. This is the meat part. Move, Kyla. No, no, you got it. It is from like 4 o'clock in the morning. They started like early, but the inspector has to come and inspect the meat, right? Oh, the inspector has yeah. to come? Oh, yeah. You cannot come on the inspector. Come. Oh, wow. This is a good place to come and get your fresh meat. And don't I don't we don't buy meat in the supermarket. It's not worth it. As I said, you get female in the supermarket, but here you get a combination. And we have certain people that we buy from here. And this is fresh meat. Look at this. What is it? It's so big a cow. Oh my gosh. Look how big the cow is. Cow skin. Cow skin. <laughs> what is it? Big feet or aka pig trotters. <laughs> My mom's favorite food. The meat is better in Jamaica because it's grass fed. It's not fed with all these whatever they give to them, hormone stuff. And you can taste the difference. The meat is so fresh. Yeah. You could, oh my god, it's good. Some people don't get fresh meat, but you can put it on the, the freezer for a while. But I don't have a problem about that because that's the way I was brought up. Yeah. I don't like when gold is too fresh. Yeah, a lot of people It doesn't taste like good. No. Go ahead. That's cow head? Wow. Okay, this is so pretty. This pork chops? Yeah. Look how he's hitting it. Is it tough? Well, you know, it's crazy, but he was hot. Okay, so how much does everything average? What do you mean? Like the pound, I guess, what you're buying. Like, how do you buy it? Well, they raise it now. I heard that um, pork is about it. 300 a pound, and he uses like 250. But it's Christmas now. They're gonna raise the price, and gold meat is one thousand dollars a pound. <gasps> oh, this place has been here from my uh, grandmother before. I think when she was younger, she used to come here every Friday. What about? Oh, you have to buy these plastic bags. These plastic bags are ten dollars, or bring your own. How much is it? It's Eleven pound a beef. Eleven pounds for a family of what? How much of us? Six. So we're going to buy home. So my grandmother has been coming here from I was small. But it didn't look like this though. It didn't look like this. Okay, so we're going to buy 10 pounds of pork. So what did you buy so far? I bought 11 pounds of beef. And it's um, $300 a pound. Now we're going to buy 10 pounds of pork. And it's three hundred dollars a pound. And as I said before, they raise it. Tell them. Bring your own bag. Oh, this is heavy. 11 pounds of meat. 1 pound of beef is heavy. 
All right, so I'm getting three pounds of flavor, and it's same three hundred dollars a pound. Fresh flavor. No yeah. supermarket. Fresh liver. Do I don't like anything from the supermarket. This is what I need to get there. Like flour, rice, sugar. Right? Otherwise I'm not I don't mind coming to the meat market. I don't mind going to the supermarket. And when I buy from them I support them because they're local grown. And these people go around and they buy animals and they um you know kill them for a living. Some of them are not, they don't grow them on their own. They just buy them and kill them. Oh, okay. Okay, so we're getting the plastic bags. So always bring uh, plastic bags with you. Yeah. Or for the meat market only though. Yes, each time. Unless you want to buy your own. But yeah, for $10. Yeah. Now something I noticed like ever since I've been young now, all the butchers they always have to drink some form of alcohol okay, we'll afterwards. Because I think they get traumatized. I would. Yeah. The poor, the poor piggies. There's a slaughterhouse in Mount 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 on Friday, Friday morning. At what time? Or Saturday morning. Um, you can be here like May 39. Are you sure in Jamaica? Yeah, sometimes they start slaughtering from early in the morning. Because they have to clean up the animals and they have to do so much work. Uh, but the inspector always have to inspect the meat. But I come on Friday or Saturday. Uh, just come early, man. You want to get everything. And to avoid the rush and people pushing you over. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna buy three more plastic bags. The lady that sells the plastic bags have been here a long time, way before Nana was born. She's uh, even older now, she was younger. Probably yeah, probably all that, yes. <laughs> 15 from the pork we bought. That's so much. Yeah. You guys should have more chicken than pork. We have chicken at home already. We got uh, 40 pounds of chicken. Yeah, but that's how we're going to all in better. What is what is the nana? How do you feel being in here? Is it cool? Yeah, they bring the animals in. After they wow, there's so up. much. Yeah, that's a little bit. What is that hog head? Yes. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> oh, when you come to the market, do not bring your purse. Um, take out what you think you're gonna spend. I usually write a list. It's more easier. Yeah. Because you will see everything and you wanna buy everything, right? Especially if it, you haven't seen it or tasted it for a long time. So bring what you want and what you know you're gonna spend. And then, as I said, go around and act like from stall to stall. Or oh yeah, yeah, places. always come here with a, um, a certain amount of money. Don't bring like more than you need to. Say if you only wanna spend two grand at the market, just yeah. bring the two grand. And don't yeah. bring and always bring it in change, right? Yeah. So yes. show them your hundred dollars, like hundred dollar bills, fifty dollars. Mm -hmm. So always bring it in that type of way. Don't bring like five thousand, one thousand dollar bills. It's easier if you have um, the smaller change, like here, mm -hmm. because you can just pull out the hundred dollars and give it to them. You can pull out the fifty dollars and give it to them because everyone's gonna be watching you when you have like the thousand, thousand, thousand dollar bill. Eyes are watching you that you don't even know that's watching. Yeah. You, right? First tip, as you said, bring your own, bring your own bag. Second tip is bring the cash, either in your hand, push it in your pocket, push it in your chest. Some people push it in your chest. I don't do that style, but no, you can. No, no, I don't. Yeah, we don't do those style, but I see people do that. And then don't bring a bag like this. I had a bag because I'm going somewhere. Yes, there. yes. But you don't want to bring this. But if you do end up having to run to the market, but you're going somewhere, you can wear the bag in front of you. Yeah, and then um, that's that so far. So that's three tips. This is my mom's schoolmate. That's my mom's schoolmate. They went to school together. Oh, that's nice. Yes. So you're so gonna buy. So it's nice to support them. Yes. You want to get the so um, can I get um, you tell them to two hundred dollar pound for the lettuce, the cabbage. The cabbage yes. So can I have like um, three pounds? Yes. Yes. Three pounds. Oh, I don't. One second. And then she's gonna weigh it. 
So see how we have the small change here? Yeah, trust I have me, the exact. Yeah. It's more convenient. Yeah, trust me when I tell you guys. You guys want to be rockling through all your yeah. stuff. Mm -hmm. No, no, no. Make it up already. Sometimes I don't mind from some people because they're very aggressive. And sometimes you buy from them because you want to help them or support them. And then you go somewhere else and you see better products. But when they're aggressive like that, I don't want to buy from them. But listen, you guys buy from the market. I don't want to see anyone buying from no supermarket. Yes. Sorry. Go on, Papa. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, don't be like some people and buy from supermarket when it comes. You can get fresh things here for so cheap. Why would you guys buy at the supermarket? Do not be social here from down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't. Don't on nobody with the twang in business and something, man. Just be yourself. Right? The supermarket things are not good. Yeah. And why are you supporting Chinese people when you can support your own black people? Let's just be real. You're supporting your own black people. Sweet pepper is a thousand dollars a pound. Um, string beans is six hundred dollars a pound, and what else? There's something else that's six hundred dollars a pound. Something else is, I'll tell you when I see it. For three hundred dollars, yeah, these are good. Uh, come here, you pick a nice pound. Watch it, watch it. Uncut. It's free. You get that? It's fun. From him because his oranges are always sweet. Three hundred dollars. One time. And they weren't sweet when I came out the following week. He gave them to me for basically free. He felt bad, I guess. It's not his fault, though. Alright, uh, this is fine. Yeah. These are locally grown Irish potato. And these are the ones that I buy. I do not buy the imported stuff. I don't like it. Look how small these are. I am no. Really? Yes. The potato? Okay, so I bought three pounds of so $360. It was $120 a pound. Uh -huh. The carrots are pretty carrots. One, um, $200 a pound. Pretty much. Nice. When you come here, take your time and shop. Don't be in a rush. Because then you will know which, which things you want. Yeah. You want some ice cream one there? Mm -hmm. pretty nice. I recommend buying from people who are nice to you and have good customer service. Yeah, because there's enough time we have to cuss off. Yeah. I'm a friend of Philly String Bean and they saw so this. So what's up? From the Sora Shop, you know? This is up and the String Bean, how much? This market's bigger and cheaper than the Spalling's one. Yeah, Spalling's is a rip off. <laughs> Seven hundred for a pound. For what? Seven hundred a pound here for the sweet pepper, because I guess because they are small. That's so mild. The reason why I shop at Christiana Market because my family is from this area, right? But Spalding's Market, you're paying sometimes three times the amount that you would pay here for Christiana. Say for instance, really? tomato is six hundred dollars a pound. That's what I wanted to tell you. And when you go to um, Spallings, it's eight hundred dollars a pound, and they're nothing compared to the ones that they have here. And the market's bigger here than in Spallings. Yes, mm -hmm. hundred dollar pound for so up. So I got one. How much pound that Kyle tree? Three pound. Three two of them. Unicorn in training. Three pound. That tree means that. Another tip that I have for you, money goes very fast down here. So make sure you're getting your money's worth and pinch. Pinch it. Like cucumber, um, cucumbers are $120 a pound. I buy like two pounds, sometimes three pounds because I love that stuff. So certain things, you know, you can give and take. Just don't be too cheap when you're buying. Stingy, you know what? Don't be too stingy. Spend on what you think needs to be spent on. Laundry soap, buy the back because I buy bulk. It's cheaper in, a this, in here than in the supermarket. I'm gonna check out the price on the curtain rods now and the shagadelic. <laughs> oh, the rugs then. 15? Is that the only color you have? Yeah, No, we don't need them then. Which spread? How big is this? The big, big? 1500, but the color is not the color I need. Yeah, different color. They don't have different color? No, different. 
The curtain walls are $1,200. $1,200. Yeah, but I have, a, I, I rather support my local people. Huh? Yeah, that's what we do over here in yeah, this family. Local people, it's way better. Way, way, way. Conflicts, and I'm not even Because most of the conflicts. businesses yeah, in Jamaica are owned by non black people. Yeah. So we have to support our own. Yeah. So what are you getting? Conflicts, no. Oh, okay. That's for 150? What? What's this shit? Oh, that's for 150. Oh, 150. Oh? 100. Give me another pop now. Oh, you're going to care already? Now, shopping bag. $100 bag, let's see. Now, look I'll just tell them no, I'm not buying Hard to shop because everything, everything looks so irres ir irresistible. Okay. Don't walk over their food, okay? And it's hard when you see everything is just like you want to buy. It. So you have to create, you have to stop that, um, that temptation. For the vlog, and I can't hold up how much I spent so far because we bought meat and we bought so much. Yeah. I probably spent so far like twenty thousand. I think I spent. Way at the market in the meat place. Yeah, in Toronto. But usually I don't spend that a lot. It's usually I don't spend so much. Still, oh. we buy certain amount this week. Next week when we come back, I don't have to spend so much. Tell them how much you spend on average. Oh, when you regular when I come here, sometimes I spend three thousand dollars to five thousand dollars, and I can't bring home the things in. The car is packed. Right? Yeah, it's actually cheap at the market. So yeah. it's better you guys go and buy market and get that much amount instead of buying one tomato for. What a thousand dollars at a supermarket, and you're, you're getting you're getting the hot house stuff. I don't want the hot house stuff. Oh, greenhouse, you mean? Yeah, greenhouse. That's Talk. it. See you in the next vlog. <laughs> Bye.